Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show. And right now, we are traveling. There's Angeles, say hello. hello. Uh, we're going to an event. One of her friends is doing an event for kids with special needs. And every year she asks me to go be a volunteer. Yes. Because you guys know I'm a famous YouTuber and she needs to pack the park with people. <laughs> so what better way than to ask Joe Jaguar of Joe Jaguar City Smartphone Astronomy <laughs> to attract people for this event so we can I'm make money. Shirt. Yeah, she's wearing the shirt. You know. Anyway, after that, we are on our way to the same friend's cottage up north, about three hour drive from Toronto. And we have the 12 inch right there, SCT, that we're gonna be using. Again, I'll show you guys stuff out there. And um, maybe we'll have like a little star party. There's a couple that's never seen anything. So maybe we'll show that. Anyway, we'll see you guys after. Okay guys, so I'm at the beach right now. I got today my 12 inch LX90 GPS type of thing. And yesterday I was showing friends here. So I am at a border zone two and it is dark. And I just broke my tripod. Great. My, uh, my tripod that I usually put the camera to. It looks like one of the legs just broke. Pretty sure. Yep. This part here is plastic. Maybe I can fix it. But anyway. So yesterday, I was showing a couple people. And the problem I ran into yesterday, I haven't used this guy in about one year exactly. In August, last year. And... I ran into the problem of I couldn't control the hand control. So it, I know normally I got to put in the time, the date, the year, um, not the latitude, longitude, but because the GPS should find that, um, but also the daylight savings time and it didn't do it. So I pushed zero for mode and it kept on going to series and Eldebram, if that's how you pronounce it or whatever. Um, and the winter constellations. And I kept trying and trying, and I couldn't f figure out how do I do it again. So unfortunately, that's what happened. So finally, after, you know, manually, I mean, this guy does not come with slow motion controls on the fork arms uh, type of thing. You can move it up and down, left and right, or with the locking, but it's really not the best way to do it. Um, so I showed them Saturn. This scope is not fully collimated. I don't know if the drive here or maybe before the drive last year. Uh, it's not totally bad, but it's not perfect. So they saw Saturn. I found them the Ring Nebula and I found them the Hercules Cluster. Uh, that was about it manually and then without tracking because it wasn't working. Now, after they left five minutes, I figured out uh, what setting I have to put the time to date. And it was still set at 2003 for whatever reason. Um, and then finally, I got it to work. It wasn't working perfect. Like the tracking still wasn't 100%. But at least it was working. But by then, it was too late to call them back. And Angela started getting cold. We did a couple things. But it wasn't as good. Now, today, it showed... I just came from the cottage here alone. And as you can see, it's pitch black. Bordel zone 2. I'm alone, which I don't mind. And it was clear. I checked before coming here. All this stuff was already in the car. And as soon as I got here, unloaded and set up, it is like 90% cloudy. Uh, I can't see really anything. So unfortunately, this is what happens sometimes. So I don't know if I'm going to wait a few minutes or... I'll wait, see if it clears up, or is that it? Was it clear for half an hour, and now that's it? It's over with, and unfortunately, guys, this is what happens sometimes uh, when you do this hobby. You could have the best gear in the world. You can have expensive gear. You can have lots of gear. You can do your planning, uh, long weekends type of thing, and then what happens is it doesn't work because of the weather, maybe because you're too tired, 
So one of the guys from yesterday is too tired. He didn't want to do it, but maybe it's a good thing. So I wanted to show you guys uh, a few things in the eyepiece with the cell phone in a Bortle Zone 2 this time, instead of just explaining it to you guys. But I don't think it's going to work. So maybe I'll wait a few minutes and see if it clears up. If not, that might be the end of the day. And tomorrow we're heading home. So unfortunately, guys, don't get upset. It's uh, not the best thing when it happens, but uh, you know, you will observe, you will find these things and just do the best you can. There'll be another clear night uh, again. Okay, I'll catch you guys in a little bit.